Hello, welcome to Sharon Local History. This is Sharon Massachusetts and welcome to Sharon Historical Society. During the month of December and January, we have a um, display on different maps from Sharon. We mostly love antique maps. So we opened the museum for a group of homeschooling kids and they were fantastic and we introduced them to a uh, basic about maps and orienteering. So here are just a few topics that we covered. Uh, we basically talked almost about everything from purpose of a use for maps, different types of maps. Um, here is one of the kids that came uh, was uh, helping to create a compass. We basically made our own compass. That was fun and exciting for the kids. As I mentioned, we talk about different types of maps and their purposes. We also talk, this is one of the oldest maps of Sharon. Um, you can slow down the video to see. Um, we included different activities for the kids, so they learn about um, the maps that way. So this activity, they had wooden blocks, they created different structures and then they transfer them to maps. We, of course, also mention how to create a map, how to make um, the proper map scale and uh, map key, um, what symbols are the most used, what colors, different landmarks. We talked about latitudes and longitudes. Um, we also mentioned different topics, uh, different parts of the maps from continents to borders, city towns. Uh, Claire also included lots of history of Sharon from different dates when Sharon was renamed. Um, to uh, talk about treasure maps. Here you can see a bunch of kids making their own maps. They actually really enjoyed it. So it's pretty simple. You just use a uh, checker or graph paper. I'm throwing in pictures of few maps that we do have for sale at Sharon Historical Society at our museum. So feel free to go by during open hours and purchase some and support us. Kids really did have a great time making the maps. That was pretty cool. Very simplified map of Sharon. I think it's great practice for the kids to uh, use real maps. The most challenging part was to folding up the map. And here, towards the end, Claire talked about the treasure hidden here in Sharon called Tori Treasure, which was never found, and we hope it's still here. So I would like to invite anybody to come over to Sharon Historical Society at 16 High Street. Um, that was a great workshop. We are hoping to do more. Thank you for watching Sharon Local History.